Greetings, this is Aviators of War's Mephisto. Today I am going to show you how to properly set up your joystick. Now, most of the work is done by War Thunder automatically. You just go to Controls, click on Control Setup Wizard, pick Air obviously, and search for your joystick in the list. Then War Thunder loads the setup for your stick. If yours is not in the list, you either have to assign each button yourself, or you choose a joystick from the list which might be similar to yours and then test what is working and what isn't. When you are finished with that, there is still some work to be done, since some very important things aren't configured automatically. First of all, there is the trim setting. Trimming your aircraft makes your life as a pilot much easier, since you don't have to constantly work with your joystick to keep your plane in a stable position. To set up the trim controls, you head to controls, click on full aerodynamics and then click on the trim axis you want to adjust. Now you just choose two buttons for increasing or decreasing the trim value. It is also very important to activate relative control. The bars below that determine how fast your trim value increases or decreases. You can just try this out for yourself and find a setup you are comfortable with. Next we are going to adjust the pitch axis of your plane. To do that, head back to the basic control screen, scroll down a bit and then double click on pitch axis. The important thing here is the multiplier. By default it is set 1, and that is bad. You will, with most fighter planes, get into a flat spin pretty easily if it stays like that. So we are going to lower it a bit. This has to be done with each plane individually, since each plane has a different turning behavior. For example, for the Hurricane Mark 1, I, I usually set it to about 0.8. This way I can do really tight turns without getting into a spin. I will now show you what kind of difference this makes. Now the multiplier is set to 1. As you can see, as soon as I try to do a turn, with my joystick pulled towards me as much as possible, I get into a spin. Which is embarrassing and sometimes deadly. With the multiplier set to 0.8, however, I can do the same turn without spinning. Now the Jerrys won't laugh at me anymore, instead I'll outturn and kill them. Awesome! If you lower the multiplier too much, however, your plane won't be turning as good as it could. You really have to find a sweet multiplier spot for each plane. Last but not least, head movement. You may have noticed in the flight scenes I just showed, I was able to raise and lower my head. That way the cockpit frame isn't in my line of sight all the time, which increases my ability to actually see the enemy by quite a bit. To adjust those controls, you head over to View Controls, scroll down and double click on Head Movement Upwards Downwards. There you choose two buttons to increase or decrease the value. I suggest you use your joystick's coolie hat for that. A button for resetting your view, I suggest the same button you use to reset your normal view and, very important, a button to activate the axis. When you want to move your head upward, for example, you then have to press that button plus the button for increasing the value. If you don't assign a button for enabling the, this axis, your head will move up and you will look up at the same time, which is bad. Again, the bars in the button of the screen determine how fast your head moves and you can adjust them for yourself. That would be all for now. I hope this was helpful.